Okay, let us start with our joint rotation. Keep one arm stable, rotate one arm in full circles. Reverse. Try not to swing your body, only the arm moves from the shoulder. Okay, change. Complete rotation. Two more. Okay, reverse. Keep your entire body stable. Don't turn around. Alright, relax. Now, repeat your next side to side. Okay, neck up and down. Okay, full neck rotation. Reverse. Okay, now keep your arms out. Bring them in and out like this. Ten times. Okay, bring your arms in the center and bring your hands out and in. Okay, take your arms back, up and down. Okay, relax. Legs shoulder length apart, hands on your waist, rotate your trunk. Reverse. Alright, now lift one arm up, bend on the side, come back, lift the other arm up, bend on the side and back. Let's do that five times on the side. Give it a slight stretch, don't bend down too much, just a slight stretch. Keep your torso stable. Okay, relax. Alright, now place both the arms in the center like this. Turn around from one side, one arm and your neck. Come back, turn around to the other side and back. Keep your torso as stable as possible. So don't move your torso. You're just opening up, closing, open, close, open, close, yes. One last time. Open. Close, open and close. Relax. Okay. Join your legs, fold your knees and rotate. Reverse. Alright. Rotate your foot from the ankles. Reverse. Alright, change. Reverse. Alright, now lift your leg up, bring it in, up, out and down. Make sure your torso doesn't move. Don't move your torso, keep looking straight, yes. But don't move your torso, your body is absolutely straight. Just your leg is turning up, out and down. Yes, good. Much better, much better, yes. Both the legs five times on each leg. Body remains as stable as possible. Okay, let's do a reverse now. From out, bring it in and down. Out, in and down. Keep your body as stable. Don't move your hips. Yes, good. One last time. Okay. Now keep your hands at the back. Legs shoulder length apart. Knees locked. Lock your knees. Now from here go down just till the center. As much as you can keep your back straight. And then come back up. So just watch it. Just go down till the center. Till the time you are able to sustain a straight back. And come back up. Down. 
and up. Yes, depends on your flexibility. Just go as much. Keep looking straight. Don't look down. Look straight. Two more times. Down, up. One last time. Down and up. Okay, relax. Alright, jog on the spot. Okay, now for 30 seconds we will be doing A hops easy like this. Just lift one leg up and try jumping on one leg like this. Start 30 seconds A hops. Okay, relax, relax. Okay, now just be in the plank. Just watch. So be in the plank and from here start tapping your shoulders one by one. Ten on each side. Start. Be in the plank. Do a shoulder tap. Ten on each side. Yes, good. Okay, once you are done, 10 on each, get up, start jogging again. Yes, get up and start jogging. Okay, let's get ready for A hops again, 30 seconds, start. Yes, very good. Keep hopping. Okay, relax. Now again, go down and do a shoulder tap. Start. Stay on each side. Okay, if you are done, get up, take a walk. Take a walk. Have water if you wish to. Okay, now. The workout for today looks like that we have first part in which we have body weight uh, push-ups. And then we have deadlifts using dumbbells. Alright, so uh, this we are going to do for 30 seconds. 30 seconds workout. 15 seconds rest. 30 seconds workout, 15 seconds rest. And likewise, we do it for 8 minutes. Okay, 8 rounds is what we are going to do. Alright, uh, I think 6 rounds is what we will be doing. Alright, so let's get ready. Push-ups is your first movement. Okay, bring your deadlifts first. We will be practicing the deadlifts first and then uh, we proceed with the push-ups also. Bring your dumbbells everyone. Let's practice deadlifts. Okay, now you will be using bands also as well as dumbbells also for the deadlifts. Just let me show you how you can increase the resistance in your deadlifts. So for example, I am holding just a 3 kg of dumbbell but I will be using my band as well. So just entwine your band like this and add some resistance here. Now from here, hold the dumbbells. Okay. Looks like this. Okay, I think there's some resistance. Some resistance has been added. So I go down and come up. Down and up. Okay, you can add band. This is optional guys. This is optional. If you feel the resistance that you are holding is not as much, you can use band for that. Okay, just let me tighten my band slightly more. 
So I will be showing you how uh, ideally you can do this. Just a second. Okay. So I am going to tighten my band more from both the corners. Okay. And then I am going to lift my dumbbell up. Alright. Just watch it. Down. Up. So my band is in constant tension even when I go down. It is not loose. It is in constant tension. Alright. Just watch the front angle. So the band is in constant tension and at the same time I am holding the dumbbells. Got it? Yes? Let's try that. Uh, so Bharat you can hold the band and the dumbbells both. Alright? Everyone can try in fact. Uh, Vikram you also try. Yes, the pain you also. Yes, Ajita are you comfortable with the band and the dumbbells? Yes. Keep doing that 2-3 more. I will be observing all of you. Hmm. Yes, the pain don't go down too much. You are losing your resistance from your band. Your band should always be tight. Okay, just loop it more if you wish to. Yes, uh, good, good. Alright, Vikram, yours is fine. Yes, Rahul, switch on your camera and uh, place it at a location I can see you. Yes, uh, Ajita, you relax. I think yours is also fine. Yes, Ankita, thoda sa warm up karlo. Then we are practicing deadlifts. Okay. Oh, I'm not able to find my resistance band. That's fine. That's fine. Ab dumbbells ke saath karlo. Not an issue at all. If you don't have a resistance band or you can't find it right now, everyone, everyone, just do it with dumbbells. Okay. Can you show me? The, can you yes. show me what to do? Yes, with the dumbbells, I'll just show what we are doing. We are doing deadlifts, so just see whether you are doing it with band or with dumbbells. Dumbbells are right held here, legs are shoulder length apart, bend down, chest out, back straight and come back up. Now from here you need to take your knees down, your hips down as well and come back up. Down and up. Alright, yes. Okay, now let's practice our push-ups as well. In push-ups also I am going to use my band. Okay. Now I will just place the band right behind my chest. Okay. Like this. Alright. You can double loop it to tighten to have more resistance. Now the movement looks like this. I am here. Down. Up. Down. Up. Alright. Got it? Yes. Let's try the push-ups with band. Everyone, tie the band around. Yes. Rahul, we are doing push-ups. So you can try 2-3 normal push-ups. Others, if you have band, tie it around like this. Okay. Now from here, go down. In a push-up stance. Down, up. Down, up. Yes. Okay. Uh, the pain not around your neck. No. Around your shoulders. So just watch it. Behind your chest. This is where it should be. Okay. The band is right here. And you are looping it with your hand like this. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Let's get ready now. You can do normal push-ups also. Okay, so holding a band is not an issue here. If you want to do, you can do normal push-ups also. Okay, let's get ready now. We will be doing 30 seconds of push-ups and then 30 seconds of deadlifts. Let's get ready. Take your push-up position everyone. Push-up position everyone. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Start. Start push-ups, yes. Yes, good Ankita, good. Yes, very nice Ajita, good. 10 seconds more. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Yes, it is challenging with the band. Yes. 
this. So you are adding resistance to your push-ups with the band. So it's absolutely optional, okay? If you feel a uh, discomfort there because push-up itself is a tough movement. So if you feel it is uncomfortable, you can, you know, uh, do it normally also. Okay, get ready for deadlifts. Take your positions. Okay. Uh, Rahul, slightly tilt your camera angle. I should be able to see your full body. Isko thoda sa on towards your right. Kar lo. Your right. Ah, perfect. I think this is good. Okay. Get ready. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Start deadlifts. Yes. Good. Very nice, Vikram. Good. Good, Dipen. Yes, carry on down and up. Yes, good Rahul, good. Bend your knees, back straight. Very nice, Ankita, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, rest. Alright, get ready for the push-ups now. Take your position. Starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Yes, very nice, good. Yes, Prashant, keep looking straight. Yes, good Vikram, good. Go for it. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Get up, take a walk. And meanwhile, position yourself for the deadlifts. Again, if you are using bands and deadlift, whether you are holding the dumbbell or you are not holding the dumbbell in the bands, just make sure that your legs are shoulder length apart. So, this can be like this. So, if you are watching, there a loop can come down. Alright? But when you are holding the band, at no point should the band upwards, it should not be loose. So, what do I mean by that? So, when I go down and this happens, the looping happens. It is wrong. I am not making use of the deadlift using the band. So I need to tighten the band to make sure that my end point also has some resistance. Okay. And you lift it up. Down and up. Okay. So when I go down, there is still a resistance in the band. Alright. It is not loose. Alright. Got it? So tighten your band accordingly. And deadlifts is a powerful movement. You should be able to lift your body weight. So don't worry that the resistance is more. It has to be more. Okay, get ready. Take your positions, everyone. Starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Start deadlifts. Yes. Good, Vikram. Good. Very nice. Yes. Bharat, when you are going down, the band is coming out loose. Okay, tighten it more. Tighten the band more. So, just loop it while you are holding the dumbbell. Just loop the band like this. Yes. Yes, Rahul, you can do deadlifts. Hmm. Good, Bharat, good. Much better. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Okay. Relax yourself. We'll be doing one more round. Okay. Of the push-ups and the deadlifts. Okay. Get ready for the push-ups now. Alright. Take your position. Starting in 3, 2, 
One go. Push up started. 30 seconds. Very nice. Keep going. Keep breathing. Enduring a push up for 30 seconds is a challenge. So you may opt for not using the band. Even that is fine. But adding more resistance to our workout improves our overall strength. Okay. So it is a progressive overload that we are using. Relax. So maybe uh, with the band you do 3-4 push-ups and then you can remove the band and do rest. Even that rest of the counts, even that you can do. Okay? Alright. Take your positions for deadlift. Another 10 seconds to go before we start the deadlift. Okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Start deadlift. 30 seconds of deadlifts. Yes. Down and up. Yes, very good. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay. Rest. We are through with our eight minutes of push-ups and deadlifts, which is a compound body movement. All right. Now we move to the uh, resistance band core blast. We will be doing side crunch, knee raise, standing, mountain climbers, plank walk, bicycle crunches. So there are many movements. Okay. Let's get ready with side crunch. So we'll be picking up one movement, do two sets and so on. Alright? Okay, let's get ready. Now, the side crunch looks like this. You are putting your foot down. Alright, here. And from here, you will keep one arm up. Okay, so I am looping the band. I am holding the foot, uh, the band with my foot, one foot, one end is loose and one hand is here. And now from here I crunch on one side and come back. Crunch on one side and come back. You watching it? So I am holding the band on my left hand and my right hand is up my head and I am crunching on the side, pause and come back. Okay, now the pointers here are same as we do other side crunches. When you go down, don't tilt your torso like that. You need to keep your body as stable as possible and try to move it on the other side as much as possible. So this is the crunch happening and you come back. Okay, again crunch and come back. So you crunch on this side as well. Okay, crunch, back, crunch. Back. Okay, yes, let's go for it. If you don't have the band, then. Uh, okay, you can use dumbbells. Same movement. Hold the dumbbell in your hand. Bend down, come back. Bend down, come back. Alright? 10 counts on each side. Yes, start everyone on your own. Yes. Yes, good Rahul, good. Keep your body as stable as possible. Don't let your torso move. Even if you go down this much, that's fine. Sirf itna jao. But niche wali jo body hai, the torso, usko move nahi karna. Only go down this much. Yes, very good. Very nice. Much better, much better. Yes. Go down from the side. Yes. So that's the crunch that we are looking at. Yes. Good. 10 counts on one side and then change your side. Change your side. Yes, good. 
so you should feel it in your obliques or the side abs as we call it if you're not feeling you need to tell me okay because that crunch it's you only who can feel a side uh, so there will be a stretch on one side and a crunch on the other that is how the movement is designed yes very good ankita good 10 counts on each side and do one more set all right not much of a rest required here 10 on each side and two sets yes ajita try bending down more slightly more you feel a stretch here and a crunch here yes bend down the other side as well just down and up yes good Yes, very nice Bharat, good. Yes, breathe out every time you crunch. So if you go down, you say you breathe out, come up, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Yes. Okay, if you are done, two sets, you can relax those who are done. But take your time. Okay. <clears throat> For the next movement, try bringing a shorter band. If you don't have a band, you can do it without band also. Just watch it. So if you have a band, just loop it around your feet. Okay. I'm just entwining my feet with the band. Sorry. Okay. Now, what you need to do is raise one arm up, uh, both arms up. Now, raise one leg up as high as possible. Come down. Raise the other leg up as high as possible. Come down. Up, pause, down. Up, pause, down. From the side, it looks like this. Up, pause, down. Up, pause, down. Up, pause, down. Alright, yes, if you have band, you can use band, looping it around your feet. If you don't have band, you can do it otherwise. Now, the count is 20 on each leg. We do two sets. Start. Make sure you lift your knee as high. Yes, Rahul, what you need to do is just be here. Lift your knee, pause, down. Up, pause, down. Alright, yes, go for it. Yes, you need to pause, you need to pause, yes. And 20 counts on each leg. Yes, do it alternate, yes, very good. Hmm. Good, good, good Prashant, good. Yes, good Ajita. Try raising your arms up more. Stabilize your core, tuck in your stomach, that's for everyone. Raise your arms up as high, tuck in your stomach. And then stabilize your body and keep lifting up. Yes, good. Very nice. Good. 20 counts on each leg. After you've done one set, you need to rest and walk. Okay? 20 counts. Yes, very nice. Yes, Ankita, don't tilt your body. Okay, what is happening is you are lifting up, you are slightly tilting your body. Okay, look straight. And from here, raise up as high as possible. Come back. Raise up as high as possible. Yes, come back. 
Yes, much better, much better. If you're done one set, just give a walk for 10-15 seconds and again resume. 15 seconds rest and then again resume. Second set is also 20 counts on each leg. Let's go for it. Yes, good Vikram, good. Rest now, 15 seconds rest if you are done one set. And then do the second set, yes. Yes. The pain don't tilt your body back, so don't do this. Alright, you need to keep your body stable. Just lift up. Alright, don't do this. Yes, keep your body, yes, good, much better. So that is the whole uh, trick of the movement that the body has to be absolutely stable, core engaged. You will feel it in your hip flexors, quads. Okay, yes, let's keep doing that. Good. If you are done, two sets, you can relax. Okay. All right. Let's watch the next movement, which is a mountain climber. You can uh, place again place the band around your feet like this okay now those who have bands how you will be doing mountain climbers first be in the plank pose now from here lift one leg up okay bring it here and back lift the other leg up and back leg in front touch it on the floor and back touch it on the floor and back touch it on the floor and back, the floor and back. got it yes so you are wearing the band around your feet and you are bringing one leg ahead, then back, other leg ahead and then back. Okay, yes. Uh, round you don't have a band, you can do it like this. You can bring one leg in front, back, other leg in front, back. Okay, those who have the band will wear the band around their feet. 10 counts on each leg. Start on your own whenever you are ready. Yes, very good. Rest for maybe 15 seconds or so and then do one more set. Okay, let's go for one more set everyone. Ankita, keep your torso down. You, you are getting into the mountain, okay? So though the name is mountain climbers, we are in the plank pose and doing it. Okay. All right. Yes, good. 
but I'll try bringing it more in front just do two three more and try bringing your leg further in front yes good the pain good okay all right next is your plank walk and we will be doing it for 30 seconds wearing the band again now this time i wear it right above my ankles okay so those who have the band will be wearing the band here and what is the movement that you will be doing being the plank all right now from here lift one leg out bring it back other leg out bring it back leg out and back out and back okay from the side it looks like this be in the uh, palm plank and one leg out back other leg out back so now you don't have a band you can do it otherwise as well all right let's get ready be in the plank and starting in three Two, one, start, one leg out and in, one leg out and in, yes, go for it. Yes, very good Ajita, good Prashant, good. Yes, very good Ankita, keep trying. Five more seconds, five, four. Three, two, one. Relax. Good. Okay, get ready. One more set. Take your positions. Starting in three, two, one. Go. Be in the pump line. Yes. Take one leg out. Bring it back. Other leg out, bring it back. Prashant, keep looking straight. Yes, good. Very nice, Ankita. Good, the pain, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, rest. Next movement is your bicycle crunches. Again, we will be following a 30 seconds uh, uh, workout and then 15 seconds rest procedure. Alright, let's get ready for it. Watch it. How are we going to do it? Those of you who have the band, place it around your feet the same way. Alright, as we did uh, in the leg raise movement. Now from here, lift your upper body up. Lift your lower body as well. Bring your opposite knee to the opposite elbow. Touch it back. Like this. Okay. So you need to pull this leg down. Alright, while you are crunching from here. And push your upper body for the crunch. Upper body for the crunch. Alright, yes, like this. Now, if you don't have a band, you can do it the movement otherwise also like this. Okay, yes, let's go for it. 30 seconds of bicycle crunches. Lie down, band around your feet, starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Yes, good. Very nice, very nice. Slow, slow, everyone. Yes, Rahul, crunch from your upper body also. <clears throat> Seven more seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, one, relax. Okay. All right, get ready. So make sure your concentration is not just on the band. You are properly lifting your upper body to crunch. Rahul, you are not lifting your upper body. You need to lift your upper body as well. So hands behind your head, lift up and crunch on the opposite side like this. Okay? Yes? All right, let's get ready. Lie down again. Starting in three, two, one. Start. Bicycle crunches, yes. Good Rahul, much better, much better. Ten more seconds. Very nice, very nice. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay, take a walk. Let's have a look what we have next. Okay, we have staggered leg raises and glutes bridge. Two movements are left. Staggered leg raises, what is that? Now, I'm going to again wear the band around my calves. Alright, this time slightly up. The movement looks like this and here... I take both the legs at 60 degrees, not at 90, at 60. Pull one leg down and up. Pull the other down and up. Down and up. So what is happening here is that when I'm here, when this leg is going down, this leg is adding the resistance of not letting this leg go down. Just watch it again. I'm just arranging space for myself. Okay, we are here. Down. Up. Down. Up, down, up. Alright, got it? Yes, let's go for it. Rahul, you don't have a band, you do it otherwise. So, otherwise, also the movement looks like this. Down, up, down, up. Okay, yes, let's go for it. Starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Yes, good. Good efforts, guys. Very nice. <clears throat> Vikram, let the other leg come up, then take the other one down. Yes, keep trying. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Relax yourself. One more set, but relax first. So make sure that your legs are at 60 degrees. Now from here down, up. Down, up. Okay, so legs remain at 60 degrees. Okay, let's get ready. One more set. Take your position. Lift up your legs at 60 degrees. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Start. Bring one leg down. Then the other leg down. Yes. Down, up. Down, up. Up. Very nice. Down. Up. Very good Vikram. Good. Down. Up. Excellent. Excellent. Go for it. Keep trying. Keep trying. Halfway through. 15 seconds more. Last 10 seconds. Go for it. Keep breathing. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Okay, now we will be doing glutes bridge. For the glutes bridge, just observe how are we going to do it. We will be using bands today. Now, <clears throat> lie down and just observe. Place the band on your lower abdomen like that. And with the help of your hand, stop the band here on the floor. Okay, now. The movement looks like this. You need to lift yourself up and pull the band down from your hands and down. Up, 
pause and down. Alright, got it? So use your hands to pull the band down from your torso. Okay, again watch it. Place the band here. Hold the resistance band. Legs, uh, hands like this. Legs here, ready? Up, pause, down. Up, pause, down. Got it? Yes? Let's try. Just do 2-3 before we start the workout. I just want to observe this movement. If any change. Uh, Rahul, you can do it otherwise. So, otherwise also the movement is very powerful. Up, pause and down. Yes? Let's go for it. Just try 2-3 everyone. Lie down. Just do 2-3. I'll be observing you before we start the workout. And you should also feel the resistance. Yes, add resistance by pulling the band. Okay, relax. Alright, so uh, instead of just looping the band like that, just watch it everyone. Don't loop the band like that, hold the band. Okay, uh, why do I say that? Because when you go up, if you have looped it, the resistance will be less on your way coming back. But if the resistance is in your hand, you can pull the band down with your hand. Okay. So just hold it like this and keep pulling it around your waist. Alright. Let's get ready. We will be doing 30 seconds of this movement. Take your position. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Start. Up. Pause. Down. Up. Pause. Down. Very good. Up. Pause. Down. Down, up, pause, down, up, pause, down, up, pause, down, up, pause, down, relax, relax. Okay. We'll be doing one more set of this. Let's get ready. Take your position. This time we try doing it for 45 seconds. Okay. Start. Up. Pause. Down. 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 Yes. Keep breathing. Up. Pause. Down, up, pause, down. Pausing is very important. Up, pause, pull the band down. Up, pause, down. Up, pause, down. One last rep. Up, pause, down. Relax, relax. Okay, remove the band. Alright, did you uh, feel a difference while we were doing the uh, glutes bridge with band and when we do it with doubles? Did you feel a difference there? Yes. So, uh, right now what is happening is that you yourself are pulling it. Got it? So, we are very lenient with ourselves. So, uh, everybody is. Uh, you won't be able to add that much resistance as if, uh, you know, if there is anyone else uh, uh, working out with you or helping you with that. So if you, uh, uh, if anybody else holds the band for you, it becomes difficult to pull it up. But in any case, we should uh, add resistance band wherever possible. The training is uh, all the more uh, compound, it becomes compound, alright? The movement becomes compound, alright? Let's get ready for the stretching now. Get up, take a walk for 15 seconds. Today we are going to stretch our hip flexor slightly more. Let's get ready. Okay, first stretch is always lifting yourself up. Walk around, pull yourself up. Keep walking in your room. 
elongate your spine all right now let's get ready kneel down everyone kneel down on the mat take one leg in front like this so the leg is bent but it is slightly ahead bend one leg slightly ahead now from here use your torso to point it straight so your torso is pointing straight towards your front it is not here okay it is pointing straight now bend down as far as possible bend down so you are stretching this back leg here like this okay and we stay there 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 come back okay change now take the other leg in front first take it in front and slowly go down as deep as possible and stay 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 come back okay now again you are kneeling down now from here take your leg on the side okay the heel of this leg and the knee is in the same straight line okay it is not tagi piche it is in the same straight line torso straight don't tilt it on the side of the knee torso straight now from here bend down as far as possible torso straight yes stay there 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one slowly come back okay change now take this leg on the side torso straight bend down as far as possible and we pause there for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 come back okay relax now sit on your heels extend your arms forward in the child pose take your arms as forward as possible Okay now from here we are all fours So you inhale you look up take your hips out exhale look down tuck your torso in inhale up exhale down two more times inhale up exhale down hunch your back inhale up make a curve in your spine exhale down one last time up inhale down exhale relax okay now from here take both the legs back and drop your body down in a cobra pose look up stay there okay relax again kneel down kneel down again lift one leg up like this now straighten this leg and lift it up yes on the side again all right same principle the knee and the uh, heel is in the same straight line now from here lift one arm up bend on the side and stay 5 4 3 2 1 slowly come back change Straighten the other leg. Lift the arm up. Bend on the side as much as possible. Turn your neck around as well. Stay there. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back. Okay. Again, sit on your heels. All right. Now this time, place your hands on the floor. take your knees out take your knees out let me just show you a back view to be clearer so once you have taken your knees out like this try taking your legs out as well okay 
and from here we pulse by taking our hips down as further as possible. Let's pulse it 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Okay. Alright. Now lift yourself up again. Pull your spine up. And start walking on your toes. Okay, now walk on your heels. Start walking on your heels. Okay, relax your legs now. Alright, now pull your neck on one side. Pull your neck on one side. Body stable, don't tilt your body, only the neck is moving. Okay, change. Pull your neck on the other side. Okay, fold your arms. Pull from the elbows, look away. Change. Fold your arms, pull from the elbow, look away. Okay, now take your arms back. And keep put, pulsing it 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax yourself. Okay, now from here again, pull yourself up. This is your last stretch. Bend on the side. Come back. Bend on the other side. Come back. Bend in the center. Come back. Now. Hands on your waist and bend backwards. And come back. Relax yourself. Jog on the spot. And we are done for the day. Okay, so today we concentrated more on the core workout. And on uh, uh, Monday, we will be doing uh, resistance band strength and conditioning as well as mobility drills. So we have shoulder mobility, hip mobility. Spine mobility, that is what we are going to target. Very important to attend, please don't miss it. Okay, next week nobody has to be on a leave. Alright, because it's mobility time. And uh, I have scheduled one-on-one -on -one sessions for some of you and I will be contacting others as well as we go on. Alright, okay, bye-bye.